I chose Keys College because I was walking around on open day. They had a huge banner over Trinity Street, which is like the main street you walk down, and they were giving out free tote, bag, tote bags with their water bottles in. It was baking hot. Um, so I walked inside, uh, and then it was just so nice inside. It was like quiet, whereas Trinity Street was really busy. Really felt at home, very comfortable there. Everyone I spoke to really made me feel like I wanted to be part of the college. When I walked into Keys, I just knew that there was something about this place which made it right for me. I liked the interior of the college. I really liked the students that I met there as well. And when I did more research, I found out that Keys has such an amazing balance of tradition, but also progressiveness as well. We're a traditional college with formals almost every day, but we're also quite progressive on areas which students are concerned about. And I like the whole vibe. It's old, but it's modern with the freshest accommodation. It's such a good location. It's like right in the center of town. So easy to get everywhere. Um, you can actually live like in the old courts bit in third year. It feels like the classic Cambridge experience. What I wish I'd known before applying is that the whole process is holistic. So you're not just judged on your personal statement or how you do an interview. You judge on the entire application and they take into account contextual factors as well when you're applying. So that was really reassuring for me. I wish I'd known when I was applying to Keys just not to worry too much. Um, it's like quite a long application process, but um, you get each step done on time. It isn't too stressful. Um, just get it in as soon as, as soon as you can and on time. Um, the biggest reason people don't get in is just because they don't apply. So have a little bit of faith in yourself. If you think of something that is a bit rogue and a bit different, put it in your personal statement, give it something to talk about. For your personal statement, don't be afraid to go into really niche areas of the subject which you're applying for. And for your interview, make sure you're confident um, articulating your opinion and thinking out loud. So I'd recommend trying to practice that either by yourself or with your teacher. And don't be afraid or put off if your interview is challenging on a certain point, because they like someone that they can have actual academic conversations with. So don't be thrown off because you're not expected to know everything at this stage. My top tip for interviews would definitely be to read over your personal statement like the day before or something, or just a bit before your interview so you can refresh your memory, because the gap between writing your personal statement and then actually having your interview is quite long so you can forget what you've actually talked about. Um, double check you've read everything on <laughs> that you've said you've read on your personal statement. I know when I was writing mine I'd sort of half read a couple of the things and then had to remember to actually read them on time before the interview um, and it just means that you can feel a bit more confident and at ease going into the interview and know that you've, yeah, you've sort of done all you can. I've loved my time here. I wish I could do it again. It's gone far too fast. Um, Keys has been brilliant, I've made amazing friends, um, such a broad range of people here, something for everyone. It's just something so lovely about having a home away from home and I will really miss it when I graduate.